And welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the return of Shadow Anivia. This is basically a Shadow Isles deck. Uh, it's a you know basically all Shadow Isles with you know Wraith Caller, the Shadow Isles Allegiance card, 37 Shadow Isles cards, but we got three others that we are splashing at the top end. We got some Anivias in here. So we're going Shadow Isles Control, Splash Anivia. Um, yeah, I played this deck about 10 days ago or so. What's up, Pine Peace? I remember it was pretty fun, and so we're bringing it back. Um, but yeah, we're, we we have the ability to get a lot of Anivias in play, um, or Thresh or Hecarim, our other two champions. We have Rekindlers that can bring them back. Um, we do have the combo of Anivia plus Chronicler of Ruin. That's certainly a combo. Uh, you kill off Anivia, turn it into an Egg Nivia, and you get a brand new Anivia for your troubles. We have Miscall that can bring back Anivia as well. Um, and of course, Chronicler of Ruins also just really good with Wraith Caller. So going, since we're going uh, Mist Wraith heavy with Wraith Caller, Chronicler of Ruin uh, is also good in that respect. Um, besides that, we also have a Harrowing at the top end. Harrowing, um, not as good now as it was the last time we played this, um, because now it just revives the six strongest allies that died this game and not just six strongest units at all you know like you can't take your opponent's stuff with harrowing anymore um, which i guess was was really what the intent of the card was to begin with but it just worked differently for a while um black spear was still good even at three mana it's still fine like it, you got to be able to kill stuff and uh it does a, a decent job at that so let's get let's get it going let's play some shadow anivia Let's see how it does. Let's change our board. Let's go over to... There it is. Cursed Ruins. And... Yeah, we'll get Gloomtooth. Yeah, we'll have Gloomtooth still. Alright, let's play some games. Let's see. Zed and Shen. This isn't a bad hand. Like, Vile Feast is going to be good against Barrier, which is definitely what they're trying to do with the Shen. I think I'll just keep this. Not a bad hand. Okay, sorry. I um, guess we just pass. I mean, I could double Vile Feast that, but that's probably not likely. Or that's probably not necessary. Yeah, Zed and Shen's pretty sweet. Well, let's not let this thing strike and reduce the cost of their most expensive unit in their hand. Wow, they care about it so much with the barrier. Um, so I could Glimpse Beyond it. We could just Withering Whale. I think I just, or sorry, not Glimpse Beyond, but we could Vile Feast, sorry. We could Vile Feast it again, or we could just Withering Whale. Uh, not just Withering Whale. We could also just let it happen and play Wraith Caller. But this works pretty good. This gets rid of their lookout and gets one uh, damage on the Shadow Assassin for our Vile Feast. Ooh, 
Jeweled Protector. Man, that card is always so great. Yeah, that card is great. Let's attack with these two. I guess they'll block here, but then we'll have Vile Feast to clean it up. I think that's okay. Also, Anivia does one damage to stuff if we want to have Anivia attack our next turn. That's pretty good. 5-7. Lauren Protégé, that's pretty good. I will play my part. So do we glimpse beyond, or do we get the three damage uh, on this thing? We're gonna have to get the damage on there eventually. Probably glimpse beyond. That's a nice combination though. Protector with protege. Basically build a build a bigger thresh. Okay, I'm I'm definitely fine with that. Definitely fine with deny uh, getting taken by that glimpse beyond. I'm, I'm good with that trade. Because we still get three damage on the protege anyway. Boo. Hmm. Boo. Don't think our attack's too good. I don't want to trade my 4-3 for Jewel Protector when we have cards like Vile Feast and Anivia. So we still have a pretty good late game with Anivia, Chronicler, Rekindler, Miskal. You know, like, we're going to have a good late game. <sighs> we just got to get there. <clears throat> so with that being said, I probably shouldn't... I probably should just block and shouldn't uh, worry about... That being somewhat of a poor trade. We'll try the Vile Feast, but in case they use a barrier, then we would have had a block, so we wouldn't have just taken the four damage. Forever watchful. Virtue guides me. Oh, Radiant Guardian's pretty tough. Radiant Guardian's pretty tough. For my homeland. I will end this here. All right, so nine mana, so I can glimpse beyond this, and then play Mist Call, and so then we have five, and then if I Chronicler also, we would have that'd be too much. Yeah, that'd be that'd be too much. Um, who's maybe I need to attack with some of this other stuff just to clear up room. We could just do Glimpse Beyond and then Rekindler. Hmm. 
I mean, I, I, I could just not glimpse beyond. And let them gain five life. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Our opponent does not want us to have fun. That's for sure. It's just all you know, barrier. You know, challengers and barriers. Okay. Ruination could be good. Later on. Next turn. A new era begins. I sense an imbalance. I demand satisfaction. Pause. There. You will be scoured from this land. You are the thing is, they're kind of doing me a solid getting rid of all these things, because I need to get rid of them anyway. Basically, will they deny my ruination? If I if I go ruination, are they denying? We might as well see. I don't even need to ruination. But we might as well. Hey, Alex. No, right, that's fine. So we're gonna, we're about to have four Nivias attacking this next turn. Well, I guess we will only attack with three. Hmm. So we go Rekindler, get a new Anivia, and then Mist Call. Or, or sorry, Chronicler, and then Mist Call. So then that's three attacking. Or I just go Rekindler, attack with three, and we still have Mist Call and Chronicler late for later. One can do. Let's do that. This is what Shadow Anivia is all about. We need more Anivias. Well, basically, I just I just wanted to like kind of get this Wraith Caller out of the way. Um, but I'm not really I'm not really even worried about an expensive elusive with us having like the ability to get so many Anivias. Like we have a fourth one here, a fifth one here. Um, you know, we have the harsh winds also, in case we need. You know, we need to use harsh winds on something. Basically, just don't have a chance. Like they need, they needed to have, um, like single combats and killed my egg nivias while well, they could of course alex yeah that nivia combo like that is pretty disgusting Okay, let's see. We're going to probably probably going to be doing some mulliganing. Don't like it's like they're going to be a slow deck, but I don't really like how we don't do anything until turn four. So let's um, let's do some mulliganing. Such a good combo, though. I'll keep the Thresh. 
Alright, that'll work. That'll work for now, at least. Yeah, absolutely. No, Alex, you don't have to be sorry for asking that at all. Now feel free to, you know, feel free to link them. Always like taking a look at different decks and everything. Okay, so like, so this is the, oh yes, yeah, so this is the deck we played yesterday. And we never had we never had this, like what my opponent's doing right now. That was something we never did. Wish we could Withering Whale. Oh no, they just passed? Maybe I just passed back? So they don't use any of this mana? I could certainly see them playing a Thresh this next turn. I probably should have just passed. So basically, they used the back to back to kill both of my Mr. Eights. Wish I had one more mana so I'd have the mist call available with the thrash. I have 8 mana, I'm going to be casting Mist Call, so I have 5 other mana, so I can cast Withering Whale. Or I can double Vile Feast. Or use like one Vile Feast now, another Vile Feast later. I'll go with the Withering Whale. their own thresh um yeah no both both of them work work for me so yeah so you have karma lux with mage seekers and garen lux with the mage seekers
Hmm. Okay, so that's the Garen Lux he tried. Um, they both look pretty good. That's unfortunate. Ruination could be really good for this matchup. So we're at two. If I challenge here, that's three. I could buy off these that thing for four. I could buy off these my own thing again for five or just jump block this. Could definitely be a ruination matchup, or maybe they won't be. Maybe they'll be a little surprised by ruination in a little bit. To us. I'm gonna make my battlefield a little bit bigger, or a little bit better, sorry. Before ruination. I don't know. Kind of obvious just to cast one right now. Oh, well, we're, we'll do it. We're not in, in a threat of, like, them playing too many things and killing us. Like, we're a little safe right now. Let's go, Anivia. So instead of just attacking for five, I'm going to have them waste their turn. So are they setting up their own? Oh. Maybe they're setting up their own ruination. Them for 15. But now they can play units and not have a Nivea kill them and then attack with them if that's their goal. But I also have double grasp, withering whale. I have good defense. So yeah, which version are you liking more, Alex? The Karma or the Garen? I do kind of feel like Deny should be a three of in either deck. And 
maybe the Karma version could use a little bit more units. You know, like maybe that could use like some like a Vanguard Sergeant or something. I really like the Mage Seeker that gives you. You're not playing the Mage Seeker that gives you a detain, and I really like that card. I like being able to use that just to save uh, my own, save my own stuff, like detain my own things. Even detaining like that Mage Seeker is kind of cool. So you can have like that Mage Seeker get detained by one of your other um, units, and then whenever that unit dies, you get your Mage Seeker back, which gets you the detain again. You can kind of like, I don't know, keep on bringing it back. Yeah, I think it's a 3 mana 3-3, three, three. that sounds right. Alright, definitely get rid of these. Fima, what's up? Thanks for the raid. What do we got? Shen, Lux, Fiora. Let's get rid of this thing too. Which is kind of expensive. Well, I guess we got Wraith Caller and Chronicler of the Ma Wraith Caller, and hope that on turn four that's good enough. It's pretty slow. So. Welcome everybody from FEMA stream with the raid. We're playing some Legends of Rune Terra. We're playing some Shadow and Nivia right now. Looks like we're playing against Swim, one of the the biggest Legends of Runeterra streamers. I am one with Good guy. Is there any... I'm not sure exactly what to... Um, what I would take out necessarily, but is, is there any like cards that are that are underperforming that aren't looking too good? So Vile Feasting, the 1-2 would make sense. Um, so that then we'd have like the 1-1 to be able to block it. I'd normally like to do that, but you know, they, this, this deck obviously they, they really care about barrier. And if barrier is going to matter a lot, then I want... Um, then I want the Vile Feast to stop barriers. You're covered. Fine and wisp, steady my hand. Eight damage. That's rude. That stops my Chronicler of Ruin plays for next turn. I could I have a 50-50 shot of getting Wraith Caller back if I try Mist Call. Is that better than just using Vile Feast on, on this and just you know basically having Vile Feast kill that? I think so. I kinda need this Wraith Caller alive. So it's like a 50-50 shot. I hope we get the correct thing. Come on, Wraith Caller. Get us our two bodies. No.
Darn. Thrash would be my best draw right now. Thrash would be my best draw. I wanted to just save three mana there and then be able to Ruination this turn, but I couldn't really make any plays that would make sense of saving three mana for Ruination. Like any any plays that would that would not just completely give away a Ruination. Really need that miss call to be the other coin flip. You know, we we hit we hit heads. We need tails. Need the wraith caller. pretty tough I will play my part. all right so yeah that's the the elite the swift wing lancer created Looks like I got denied. I am one with the land. That's pretty good for a one drop, you know. Cause Honor guide me. For just a one mana investment. Get some pretty good. Pretty good investment for just the one mana. <laughs> yes, it really is Void Rose. Yeah, it's it's very easy to get into. Yeah, it is, and um, yeah, I definitely recommend it. Um, I wrote this little thing a few weeks ago about why I recommend it, but um, Yeah, it's it's very easy to get into. Um, you really don't need to spend money on the game, honestly. You can just grind. You can grind your collection fairly easily. Um, you know, it'll take you a, a few weeks, but a couple of weeks. But uh, you really don't need to um, invest money in the game. You can just pick it up and play um, on the 
between the 28th and 30th of this month. It's going to be fully released and it'll be out on mobile and we're going to be getting a new set. We'll, they'll just have some new cards. Oh, we'll be getting new cards. Um, and so, you know, grinding now is definitely a good thing before there's even more cards to get, but yeah, it's pretty awesome. My favorite thing about it is the turns. It's just like that that was turn one, this is turn two. Turn two, we this is our mana over here. We both have two mana. And you both play creatures and stuff. It it's just the actions go back and forth until no you know, basically both players pass. So turn three, I'm the attacker this turn. Like basically each you know, each turn it switches back and forth of who's the attacker. Um But we're the attacker this turn, so we're going to I'm gonna play this first. So since we play that, then uh, I <clears throat> now they get priority. Now I have priority again. So there's no like specific time to go to combat. You get to just choose whenever you want to go to combat. Um, which you know, if you're the attacker, you get the first action. So if you want to just go to combat immediately, you can do that, and then your opponent doesn't get to, um, you know, they don't get to play any other like creatures before combat or you can play stuff out so like there's some strategy there of like of when to go to combat each turn Do not fear the shrouded path. all right we'll have the skitter help play some defense yeah so it's not like not necessarily no it's not like fixed phases you just have so they have Radiant Strike. Do I trade Skitter for Radiant Strike? I mean, I guess so. That's their only. That's their only card they're gonna have. Um. Yeah, it's basically like prior priority changes a lot back and forth, but not fixed phases. You also so like now it's turn five. We both have five mana. You see like this extra three. I have I've had three mana so far that I haven't used in turns, and you can have up to three mana you can bank for later turns. So I actually have access to eight mana this turn. And so if you don't just play stuff right away, you it's it's possible to get caught up instead of just getting um you know, ran over by aggro decks. It's a you know, it's possible for you to like spend more mana in an additional turn for like so like control decks can keep up and stuff like that. So it's not just two curves out all the time. But that the thing is, is that mana can't be used to cast uh, creatures. You can't cast creatures with that mana. You can only play spells. So you can see how, like, this isn't highlighted. Even though it only costs three, I can't play it. But this is highlighted. It costs two because it's a spell. So I can play it. So that, that adds a lot of strategy, too. If you want to, like, not spend mana so you can save up mana for the next turn. So you can... Um, you know, if you don't play anything on turn one or turn two, then on turn three you can have... Six, six total mana, so you can play a six mana spell on turn three. An ass, My life for the order. So there's a lot of strategy involved in just kind of everything, and it's it's a game where it really feels like the person that played better wins a good amount of the time. There's not as much variance. It's very strategic. I guess we're gonna block with the Wraith Caller and save the Skitter. I think I may need to kill the Skitter. It's not likely though. Don't look twice. This is unfortunate that I'm not doing anything else this turn at all. All right, so uh, harrowing. If we would play this, we can see what would happen. We would get a wraith caller and a bunch of mistrates. That would be pretty good. Should we just do that? And then they have they just have one action. Then we can go straight to combat. We should probably just do this. Do not fear the shrouded path. 
I walk your path alone. Well, they can't have judgment. Judgment costs eight mana. Cut the breath from them. So, even you know, if they have life steal barrier and go up to twelve, that's still a lot of damage. All right, GG. We're three and one. All right, Shadow and Nivea, three and one. That was weird. All right, so, and then even though it's best of one, one thing that's really cool about this that, that I love is that you, you at least get to know what, what region, so basically what colors your deck your opponent's playing and what who their champions are uh, basically like who are their mythics um and so you can make good mulligan decisions based on that so even though it's only best of one it doesn't seem like you need a cyborg because you get to make good mulligan decisions you, you don't just like face the aggro deck and then keep a hand that's good against control um speaking of facing the aggro deck that's what we're doing here so we're gonna mulligan the seven drop um no it really doesn't matter who goes first that's the great part about uh, I kind of want to keep this call. Oh, no, we shouldn't. Um, that's the great part about this game is it really doesn't matter who goes first. There's not a single, you know, been playing this for like two months now. There's not a single game where I was like, oh man, I wish we were going first. Or, you know, like it, how that's such a big part of Magic and, and Hearthstone too, of like if you win the coin flip. But this does, it really doesn't matter because it's, it's just back and forth. Um, there's a lot of times like where... You would rather have gone second. Like they, they would have rather had the attack on turn two, probably, so they could have attacked with the spoon Kuroki. But a very awkward hand. This is a very awkward hand. All right, so we're gonna have to vile feast, right up. and then we'll chump block here, and I'll turn on my black spear because we'll have an ally die, so we'll deal three damage to something, and so we'll do three damage to the draven. Call on some wraiths. Man, that the wraith caller almost missed because we have to have allegiance, so it only gets the bonus if the top card in our deck matches the region. But every card in our deck matches this region except for the three Anivias, and you know we just drew an Anivia. We came really close to whiffing there. You should try blinking sometime. Hmm. Um, it's probably not too hard to play on mobile. So, there is a restriction, like, where you, you can only have six creatures in play, and then, like, you know, like, this is, like, you're in play, and then on the, and then, like, in combat, and same with in combat. You can only have six in play and six in combat. at any time there's no double blocking everything attacks in um attacks basically in uh oh i i need the black spear available in like a lane and so you can only block in the lane but damage doesn't wear off so like how this this boom crew rookie used to be a one four it's a one two now because it's taking two damage so damage doesn't 
wear off. Oh, they messed up. They meant to put the pump on this thing, I guess. So that's that's pretty cool of like it doesn't you know, like whenever in magic when you have a six six and it's blocked by a two two, the next turn it's a six six again. Uh, in this game it'll just be a six four. And it won't Um Yeah, so my four three is now just gonna be a four one. You can use you can use like a pump spell. If you if I use like a giant growth on this, it would turn into a seven four until end of turn, of course. But then actually, it would the the toughness boost would stay on because it wouldn't just disappear. Because you can so you can heal your creatures with pump spells since the damage is permanent. Well, unfortunately, both of our both of our things that we need to play cost seven, and we have six. For creatures. <laughs> kind of want to glimpse beyond this and draw to. That's probably not the thing to do, though. But that doesn't mean I. I don't, uh, don't want to do that. That's bad. That's a bad sign. I'm probably dead. We're playing against the burn deck. Felt four to us. We're at twelve. Whenever this thing dies, it deal deals two to us. Dang, we're probably dead. They're the attacking person this turn, so they can either go straight to combat, which would be really bad for me, or... Dang, I wanted them to play something so that then we could play our, our harrowing, our slow speed spell, but now we're just in combat, so we don't get to play stuff. Uh, Yeah, we did. I was just we couldn't we couldn't uh, waste a turn that that uh, like we did that last turn just can't do that um me going down to six these put me down to two I'm just dead. I think my best bet is probably finding Withering Whales and Grasby Undying and being able to gain life. We have three Grasp and two Whale. We did not find those. At least not yet. Forever. Okay. Well, it doesn't matter. Well, I was right that our best bet was that we could find one. Though. Yeah, we did. All right, so we ended up going three and two with Shadow and Nivea. Fun deck to play. The you know we got we lost to both decks that we lost to were just pretty aggressive decks. Uh, went underneath us. You know the one we had our ruination denied. The other one that burned one we just took a turn off. Turn you know we can't just take turn six off. And you know we had all those cards that just took the turn off. Um, couldn't do that. And uh, even if we didn't take that turn off, I don't know that would have been tough. They had quite a good hand. Uh, but anyway, that's Shadow and Nivea. Pretty sweet deck. 
pretty sweet deck. It's fun to get as many Anivias in as possible. Like that game one was awesome. How we had what the three Anivias in play, and we had a fourth and a fifth in our hand that we were going to be getting into play the next turn uh, with different stuff with um, you know with Mist Call and Chronicler of Ruin and things like that. Pretty awesome. All right. But there we go, that's Shadow and Nivea. So those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there and uh, you know, feel free to leave a comment if you're playing the deck yourself. Let me know how it's going. Plus, if you want to see your deck on stream, it's just a $10 donation. The donation link is in the video description for those of y'all watching on YouTube. Um, and yeah, you send your deck code or send your deck idea if you want me to build your deck for you. Um, just a $10 donation, I'll play your deck on stream. All right, but thank you so much for watching some Shadow Anivia, and I'll see you for the next video.